Hi, my name is Paul. In doing a cooking video, or attempt to do a cooking video, I discovered something. The organic frying pan that they advertise on TV, you've probably seen their ads. Cut to ad. Revolution is here with Organic Kitchenware, the amazing new non-stick cookware with revolutionary green ceramic coat. So anyway, you've probably seen that ad or something similar on TV. Well, they tell you it's a non-stick pan. Don't you believe it. Stuff will stick to it. Simple enough. They tell you you don't need grease oil. That's fine. For a while. After a while, Stuff starts to stick to it. Don't know if there's something else, but I followed the manufacturer's instructions for seasoning, and I'll go through that later in the video. Fact remains that despite what they say, stuff still sticks to it. And as the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words, so let's get started. First, I'm to turn the heat on low. Right shot, turn on high. Now, there's nothing in that pan except water where I just washed it off. So anyway, I'm going to take and fill this cup as best I can, like that. Pour that in the center. Notice it comes out nice and smooth. Well, so much for the idea that nothing sticks to this. Well, I guess maybe you do need to re-season it if you have problems. The or green it. Nothing sticks to it. As long as you don't use it. Looks like. I have got definite sticking problems. I'd call that stuff. There's your evidence that not everything is as they claim. I probably have to re-season it again. Okay, enough of this. Alright, so this is not a cooking video. This is a demonstration that, you know, just because they claim it's non-stick doesn't mean it isn't. Anyway, I'm going to have to wash that plate, so this cooking video is completed. Or rather, this cooking video is cancelled. I'm not trying to excuse the manufacturer of the Organic, but I think I know what the problem is. You, these two dishwashing liquids are just um, here, here to explain something. The one on the left, the label just got ripped from you, so I'm not trying to hide the brand, otherwise they'd be hiding the Dawn brand. That is a bottle of Up and Up blue dishwashing liquid compared to Dawn. Up and Up is Target's house brand. It is cons it's probably about a buck cheaper than the same size of Dawn. Thing is that since it says compared to Dawn, what they're claiming is that the grease removal factor is very high. It will do a a lot of work at removing grease. In fact, Dawn is so good at removing grease that it is used in animal rescue foundations to clean oil spills and other contaminants off of wildlife. Okay, the thing is that when you first use an organic pan, you have to season it exactly the same way you would season an old-fashioned iron frying pan. You put oil on it, you heat the oil until it smokes, you take it off the flame, and then you let it cool. The effect of that is that the oil seals in the pores, and everything has pores. Even plastic has pores. You just can't see it. They're microscopic. Um, what happens is it seals in the pores, the voids between the molecular binds. So what's happening is, is that You've got a product in which it uses a microscopic amount of oil that's left over since, it, since it's good enough that the oil doesn't stick to it and, it and it can't get through the pores. The pores are smaller than the molecules in the oil. So a very, very tiny amount of oil stays on the pan and acts as a what they call a surfactant. 
Surfactants are what you use when you throw your clothes in the laundry and you either throw liquid or dry detergent on your clothes. What happens is the surfactant in the clothes makes the clothes slippery. The dirt molecules can't stick to the clothes and they slide off and that's why your clothes gets clean in the laundry. Well, what's happening is that, that these detergents are so good at breaking up grease, which includes the oil that you put on the pan, that they are basically stripping the oil off when you wash them. So, what happens is now you have an unoiled pan and guess what? The food sticks to it. So, it may be a good idea, even though it doesn't say so, you may, if you use a real strong detergent like this, real strong in the sense of a real strong anti-grease detergent that you may have to re-season the pan if stuff sticks to it that's your answer because I discovered that when I cooked some meat on it the other day so don't always believe what they say and just because they claim it's non-stick doesn't guarantee it will be the stuff will come off real easy well not real easy it'll come off with a with a slightly rough plastic plastic uh, scrub brush it'll come off much easier than it does on other pans but on the organic stuff will stick to it as you've just seen so don't believe everything you everything you see in an infomercial just because they make the claims doesn't necessarily mean it works in every case yeah once you first do the thing it works but after two or three tries it may not so you may need put a little bit of oil on there and season it first even though it says you don't need the oil but actually you don't need the oil to cook you need the oil to season the pan and what we're talking about when we talk about the amount of oil you need you need about a cap full about a teaspoon of oil just enough because again the oil does not stick to the pan it rolls around exactly the way it says it about it being a non-stick pan but the oil, prevent, the oil prevents other stuff from sticking to the pan. Now what I'm going to do in another video is I'm going to try making pancakes now that I've seasoned the pan and let it cool and see if it still sticks. If it does, then they're completely lying. That it's only good for the first one or two tries and then it sticks anyway. Anyway, my name is Paul. Thank you for watching this hopefully informative video. Email Paul at paul-robinson.us